Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to prevent the possible loss of data in Excel. This is something very useful, especially if you're sharing a spreadsheet with someone else and you, you want to set it up so that they can change certain things but not other things, especially the calculations. So I have a spreadsheet here. It's just a very simple spreadsheet and I want other users to be able to change the numbers in this range of cells but not change the result of the calculation over here which is just the sum of the three numbers in the three columns and I don't want them to be able to change the headings either. So the first thing that we do before we protect the whole sheet is we select the cells that we do want them to be able to change. We go to the format menu, cells and protection and we unlock it and then we say OK. Then to protect the whole sheet we go to the, at least on the Macintosh, we go to the tools menu protection and we say protect sheet and we could enter in a password we're, we're, gonna, we're not going to bother to obviously that would allow you to uh, have certain users be able to unlock it and it will allow users even when, un, even when protected to select locked and unlocked cells and format cells but they can't do all of these other things so we say OK and now it's protected and you could, if you see down here uh, this is the worksheet. It now has this lock symbol by it, by it which tells us that the sheet is locked. So let's test it out. Let's, let's try to change this column here. As soon as we start to type in something, we get a message that says it's, it's protected. If we try to change the formula, the same thing here. But if we want to change one of these numbers here, we can type in another number. We can type in a number here. We can type in a number over here. Um, so it's achieved what we want to. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted and today I showed you how to prevent the possible loss of data in Excel. Thanks for watching.